Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is June the 9th, 2022, and it feels like March is weather outside. It got colder out on us here. But um, we're going to be doing a ladybug farm enclosure here. So we took an old aquarium that was washed out really good, and we put down some screen so that uh, the ladybugs can get some air. We have the bag in here. It is open, but uh, we're going to be working on getting uh, some different stuff in here so that they'll have a nice little home and habitat there. They like to crawl on and under things, so uh, we do have a, a toilet paper roll there, and uh, we have some apples for them to eat. We're putting some uh, different stuff in here for them. Now we are going to be putting some gravel in this right here. We're going to be putting some uh, water. Little travel beds. So we're putting some pieces of apple out. Now they like non-acidic fruits if they don't have like anything else to eat. They do like nectar, so uh, I might take uh, a marigold or something like a short growing marigold and put it in a container and put it in there. So you can see some of them did manage to venture out of the bag there. We did cut it and uh, we put it in there so that uh, they, could come, they could come out on their own. Uh, I'm wearing a jacket today because of how cold it got out. It's been in like the 70s and the 80s and now all of a sudden it dropped down so it's really cold here. But we did put some of their uh, travel bedding in with them that came with, uh, with this and uh, we did release some in the greenhouses. I do have videos on my channel for that. So uh, we have some more uh, rolls there, empty rolls. Up too. Yeah, the ladybugs like to crawl up, so uh, they're going to be venturing up the tank. They like to crawl on things, so um, like sticks and twigs you can put in. Uh, I've seen where people have put in like uh, little aquarium things for them to crawl on. So uh, we had a planter that we cleaned out and I uh, had bok choy and all different kind of weeds and stuff in there. So we went ahead and we threw some of that in and uh, we are getting more stuff to put in here. And you can see, you know, they're already exploring their new home there. There's one there. You can see them here, they're exploring their new home in there. I think we'll be okay. We'll get another one. So uh, there's one. one eating the apple here already. Let me see if I can get a better picture of it. There we go. You can see there's one eating the apple there. And they're starting to find it. <laughs> Crawling around all over the place. And they're, yeah, they're at the apples. They're eating them. Yeah, you can see them over there. Look at them on there. So we're putting some uh, gravel in there. So we have some moist gravel in that tray back there. And uh, you don't want too much water in there because you don't want to drown your ladybugs and you can take like a spray bottle and mist like through the screen and make the uh, make all that stuff there wet so um, that stuff was previously wet because it's been raining here so they're just in there all searching around there's more still coming out of the bag in there they're loving those apples so uh, we are checking to make sure that they can't get out because um, we want to make sure that we have like everything nice and secure and we also want to make sure that nothing can get in um, we do have like snakes around and we have mice around so we want to make sure that they can't get in to uh, the aquarium here but uh, this was a uh, approximately 1,500 pack of uh, ladybugs and we are going to be putting more stuff in, so I'll give more updates as uh, we put more stuff in here. So you can see they have more bedding now.
and we're hoping to establish a nice ladybug farm here. Now we want to uh, put this inside in uh, the fall and winter time so that they don't hibernate. We don't lose them over the winter time from the freezing. But uh, we're hoping to be able to have our own ladybugs so we can take them out, use them in the greenhouses, use them in the gardens, and uh, see there's a big, they're really congregating down there. I'm not sure what they're getting off of there, but um, we grabbed some uh, wildflowers here, and uh, we're going to put some of these in here. Some nectars and pollen, whatever bugs may be on them. Like I said, it just got done raining, so all of that um, has all that moisture on it. So we gave them some uh, some wildflowers there. Um, they're going to them. Yeah, they're already on them. Look at them down here. Be a female over. There. Moves light, maybe? I don't know. So we have a infestation outside of Thrips. And uh, they've migrated into the greenhouses. And uh, we just put some of the wildflowers in there, you know, they'll get the nectar from them and different things. And I'm going to see about getting uh, a little dwarf marigold in a container and putting that in there. And when that blooms, they'll have the pollen from it and the nectar. And see about giving them a little plant to crawl on and get the flowers from. They like those apples. So uh, this is a stand that was built for them. And you can see they're up on the stand now. There's mealworms over in the other bucket over there. They used to be in the aquarium, but they got all cleaned out of there. So the reason the ladybugs were all in that corner over there, um, there was a little bit of water over there, and uh, it wasn't much at all and they all went to that corner and uh, that was not a good thing so even though it wasn't very deep and there wasn't much of any water there it was basically like if you would have taken an eyedropper and put like three drops of water there uh, some of them did uh, unfortunately some did not make it which we didn't know what it was at the time my dad looked at it and he tried to get out you know everything that he could and we put more stuff there to try and help them get out of it. So you just want to make sure that you don't over uh, put too much water down. Uh, a raindrop, if it's like a drop of water, they'll get stuck in it. And it gets their wings wet and they can't uh, fly and they can't get out of it. So um, the paper towel got rang out so we didn't have too much water on that. Just a very fine, gentle mist. You don't want anything real heavy for the water. So as these continue to, uh, we continue to raise these, I'll come back with more video updates and I'll show them to you. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. That ties to put a new video on. Also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank yous for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.